three-digit addition using the column or algorithm strategy. Addition involves working out the sum or total amount of something we have. To make our calculations easier, we're going to group our numbers together into ones, tens, and hundreds. The column or algorithm method makes this grouping process really quick and easy. Let's have a look at a problem together. 124 plus 135. Now laying out is very important when we're doing our column method. We're putting our ones in the ones column, our tens in the ten, and our hundreds in the hundreds, making sure it lines up perfectly with the number below. We're going to add our ones column first, four plus five. That gives us nine, and we're going to write the answer right below in the ones column. Now we're going to add our tens, two tens plus three tens. That gives us five tens, and we're going to write that in our tens column. Lastly, we're going to add our hundreds. 100 plus 100 gives us two hundreds. So our answer is 259. Let's do another one together. 456 plus 321. We're lining up our numbers on top of each other in the correct columns. We always add our ones column first. Six plus one gives us seven ones. So we put that in our ones column. Now we're adding our tens. Five tens plus two tens gives us seven tens. So we write that in our tens column. Four hundreds plus three hundreds give us seven hundred and we write that in our hundreds column. So our answer is 777. Three-digit addition using the column method with regrouping. The place value system works by grouping numbers into lots of 10. 10 ones becomes a tens bar. 10 tens becomes a hundred. 10 hundreds becomes a thousand. We do this to speed up our counting and our calculations. 113 can look like this, or we can simplify it into making those tens bars into one 100 bar plus one 10 bar. So 113 could be read as 100 plus 10 plus three. Let's take a closer look at how we can use this when adding using the column method. 175 plus 275. First, we're gonna add our ones column. We've got five plus five, which is gonna give us 10. So we're gonna regroup our ones into one tens bar. We're going to put our zero, because we've got no ones left over, in our ones column and move our 10 into our tens column. Now we have eight tens plus seven tens, which is going to be greater than 10 tens. So we're going to regroup into one 100 plus five tens. We're going to put our five tens in the tens column and we're going to move our one 100 into the hundreds column. Now we're going to add our hundreds. We have four hundreds and we write that in our hundreds column. So our answer is 450. Let's look at another example with numbers. 326 plus 329. Making sure we're lining these up correctly in the right columns, right on top of each other. And then we're going to add our ones column first, six plus nine. That's going to give us 15, which is greater than 10. So we're going to have to regroup. We're going to put our five ones in the ones column and we're going to carry our one 10 into the tens column. Now we're going to add our tens. One 10 plus two tens plus two tens. That gives us five tens. So we write that number in our tens column. Now we add our hundreds. Three hundreds plus three hundreds gives us six hundred. So our answer is six hundreds, five tens and five ones, which is 655. Let's try a problem with two lots of regrouping, 185 plus 739. We're going to line up our numbers correctly in the right columns right on top of each other. And we're going to add our ones column first. 5 plus 9 gives us 14, which is greater than 10, so we need to regroup. We're going to put our four ones in the ones column and carry our one 10 in the tens column. 1 10 plus 8 10s plus 3 10s. That gives us 12 10s or 120. We're going to put our 2 10s in the 10s column and move our 1 100 into the 100s column. Now we're going to add our 100 column. 1 100 plus 1 100 plus 7 100s. That gives us 9 100s or 900. So our answer is 900s two tens and four ones, which is 924. Let's do one more problem together. 
675 plus 175. We make sure that we line them up correctly right on top of each other in the correct columns. We're going to add our ones column first. Five ones plus five ones is ten ones, so we regroup. We're going to put our zero in the ones column and move our one ten into the tens column. Now we add our tens. One ten plus seven tens plus seven tens is fifteen tens. Or we could say one hundred and fifty. We're going to put our five tens in the tens column and carry our one one hundred into the hundreds column. Now we add our hundreds. 1 100 plus 6 100 plus 1 100. That gives us 8 hundreds. So our answer is 8 hundreds, 5 tens and 0 ones, or 850. Here are a few key points. Make sure you line up the numbers with ones on top of the ones and the tens on top of the tens. Always start with the ones column first. Add straight down each column and write the answer below. If your answer in any column is 10 or more, then you will need to regroup 